When Chapman Billy's leave the street, and Ruthie Niebers Niebers meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate. While we sit, boozing at the nappy, getting foo and unca happy, we think now on the lang Scott smiles. And what was even more exciting, she felt too, as she saw Mr Ramsay bearing down and retreating and Mrs Ramsay sitting with James in the window and the cloud moving and the tree bending, how life, from being made up of little separate incidents which one lived one by one, became curled and whole like a wave which bore one up with it and threw one down with it there with a dash on the with beach. agriculture came a more settled lifestyle enabling the establishment of fixed living sites and buildings of wood or stone traces of early settlements still survive for example the interlinked houses at Scarabray in Orkney which date from between about 3500 and 2500 BC down here, everyone arrives with a sack, like the sacks used to keep the winds in. But each of these sacks is full of words. Words you've spoken, words you've heard, words that have been said about you. Some sacks are very small, others large. Mine is of a reasonable size, though a lot of the words in it concern my eminent husband. It's like you don't realise that the Parmesan pop actually means wealth and snobbery and social exclusion and weird aspiration. And if you don't see that, then you're condoning it. You're accepting all that. And I do see it. And so I should laugh, but it's still dad. And it's what I grew up with. So you're actually laughing at your self. But where's your own home? You're laughing at your dad. That's awful.